the Holy Spirit and symbols. There are various symbols that the church gives for the Holy Spirit. We'll give you some of them. First is the dove. This for the reason that when Jesus was baptized by St. John the Baptist in the Jordan River, the voice of the Father could be heard. Jesus descended into the waters. And the Holy Spirit descended upon Jesus in the form of a dove. Second symbol would be that of a gentle breeze. It, Elijah was searching for God, and he was not in the thunder, the storm, but he was present in the gentle breeze. Third symbol for the Holy Spirit would be that of the cloud. Fourth symbol for the Holy Spirit would be that of fire. This we see on the day of Pentecost. The apostles were Mary, with Mary <coughs> were praying for nine days, making the first novena. There's a powerful wind, and then fire descended upon the heavy apostles, and it transformed them into valiant soldiers of Christ. There are two properties of fire that we can relate to the Holy Spirit and the action of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. Holy Spirit has both light and heat. What does light do? Light illuminates a place. The light of the Holy Spirit, it illuminates our intellect so that we can know the truth and the truth will set us free. And for us the tr truth is not simply a abstract philosoph philosophical concept, but for us the truth is a person. It is the Logos. It is the incarnate Word. The truth is Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. So for us, for us to really get to know who Christ is, is the Holy Spirit that reveals to us who Jesus Christ is. Now warmth. <clears throat> Our hearts can become hard, resistant, and they can become cold. It's the Holy Spirit that not only enlightens our intellect, but the Holy Spirit sets our heart on fire with love of God, as well as love for the salvation of souls. So let's get to know love and to be docile to the person of the Holy Spirit.